The following is a quick demonstration of STEM, the Spatiotemporal Epidemiological Modeler. STEM is an open source, extensible eclipse based application for modeling and analyzing infectious diseases. STEM comes pre built with a range of textbook examples of infectious disease models, uh, for instance, compartmental SI, SIR, and SEIR models. It is being used for research, and new and more advanced models are currently being developed by a number of groups. When you first start STEM, you will be shown the simulation perspective. Uh, STEM also has a designer perspective where users uh, design their own models uh, that they want to run, and also an analysis perspective used to study the output of STEM models, and an automated experiment perspective for batch simulations and uh, fitting data. To quickly demonstrate STEM, I will run one of the pre-built uh, demo scenarios we have. The disease is a pandemic flu in a worst case scenario where the population is 100% susceptible to the outbreak. It is also a highly infectious example with a basic reproductive number of 5.7. You can uh, pick a scenario based on any country you want uh, from the about 244 countries that we currently support in STEM. Uh, let's just pick Thailand. Right click and just say uh, run. top uh, you can see the built-in viewers we have in STEM, uh, the map viewer. Uh, we also support output and results in Google Earth format. You can see this disease spreading uh, from the center of the country in a wave-like fashion. Uh, this model does not have air transportation in it, so the disease spreads via border crossings and roads only. Uh, the color intensity of red uh, represents the relative number of infected individuals. Okay, let's pause this. You can uh, also visualize um, population in different states. Uh, for instance, the exposed states of E from the drop down. Uh, these are population that have been infected but are not yet shedding viruses. Uh, we can also show the recovered population represented by the letter R in the drop down. Okay, that's a quick demo of uh, running a STEM simulation. Uh, users of STEM uh, typically use the designer perspective uh, to build their own scenarios. So let's go to the designer perspective. Uh, in this case, uh, I'm going to show you a little bit more advanced example of modeling a flu outbreak across multiple population segments. Uh, in this case, it's children and adults. Starting at the top, we have our scenario called Thailand Demo. Uh, inside it, we have a model called Thailand, which has a sub-model containing uh, geographic data by Thailand regions, borders, uh, and population data. Uh, under that, we have uh, something called the population model. This particular population model subdivides the population into children and adults. Next, we have a model for the disease itself. Uh, this particular model contains cross-transmission rate parameters between adults and children as well as between adults to adults and children to children. Uh, the scenario uh, has uh, two inoculators uh, that uh, inoculate about 75% of the adults and children initially. And it also has an infector that starts off the outbreak by infecting two adults. Let's run this example. Right click, go run. We'll switch to the simulation perspective. Um, and now we need to pick the population we want to look at. Let's on the map. Let's pick children. Let's wait a little bit. And now it's starting to take off. Uh, let's pause it. And uh, you can go back to the drop down and you can pick a different population, uh, so like adults, and compare the two on the map. And if you turn on logging before you start running the, this uh, scenario you will get separate log files for uh, children and adults uh, those log files can uh, easily be imported into external tools like uh, matlab or excel for instance that concludes this demonstration of stem uh, for more information go to our website www.eclipse.org stem thank you